Hey, it's your Wiz Cousin Wine Guy back again with another wine review. For those of you who are new, these are wines you can find wherever you shop for wine. Liquor store, grocery store, wine shop. You may find these labels in those stores. I go through and give these wines a taste and let you know what my opinion is about the wines. It's simply just an opinion. I give you guys my simple thumbs rating system. Thumbs up says, I recommend this wine. Three quarters says, you know what, I had this at a party, or I drank this wine and brought it to a party, and I recommend you give it a try. Halfway says, ooh, something about that wine just wasn't vibing with me, so I'm going to tell you exactly what that was. Thumbs down? Did I say anything more? So, before I get to the wine, let me just say, as I always said, I really like this view. You can see the wines, you can see the glass, you can see me, you can see the background. This is lovely. It took years to figure out the best view for showcasing my reviews, and now I finally found it. So we are sampling the H3 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon from Washington State. H3, what does that mean? Horse, heaven, Hills, the three H's. This is a, a region nestled in between Yakima Valley and Columbia Valley. All right. This nestled right in between. You know, and in fact, I had, in fact, there was a local Wisconsin winery that uh, sourced some grapes from Horse Haven Deals, made a Cabernet. It was phenomenal. So the grapes and the fruit that comes from that area, depending on the grower, are phenomenal and make some exceptionally good wines. So now we're talking about H3. And for those who don't know, well, who makes H3? Columbia Crest. Now, I'll put a link up across the top that talks about the Columbia Crest wine that I reviewed before. But this is Columbia Crest. A lot of these wineries have multiple labels. Boom, 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 boom. All right? So you must check it out. You may, dis you may discover you like a, a, like a particular wine, but it's part of another label. In that case, you should go up, 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 right? And discover more wines in that label. So H3 is part of Columbia Crest 2019. We're coming in at 14.5% alcohol. And looking at my notes here, we have a price range of $9.99 to $13.99. $9.99 meaning it's probably on sale. You may combine it for $8.99. For $9.99 to $13.99 is the price. So let's give it a pour and give it a taste. So this is Cabernet Sauvignon, 95% Cabernet, 5% Merlot. We're talking about, I like to say, the new school Bordeaux. The new school Bordeaux are only utilizing two grapes, two grapes, Cabernet and Merlot. You find a lot more of those than the old school would utilize like five, sometimes maybe six grapes. But now you find a lot of like Cabernet and Merlot or Merlot, if you're in the right bank, Merlot, Cabernet. You know, so that's I like to call it the new school of blending. They didn't realize that you need all these other grapes in the blend for Bordeaux. But there is an original blend for Bordeaux. You can look that up and find out what here's here's you put in Google. Hey Google, what was the original blend in the Bordeaux wines? There you go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a look at this. Check out that color. Isn't that beautiful? Now, for you looking at it just straight, it's like a deep, dark purple. When I put it behind a black background, it goes from a garnet ruby to dark ruby or purple. There you have it. Beautiful color. You know, looks nice. No faults in the look on the nose. On the nose, definitely. It's, it's funny. Because it smells like, it smells like Cabernet, Merlot, Merlot, Cabernet. I mean, believe it or not, Cabernet and Merlot are so close when it comes to characteristics, when it comes to nose, they're so close that some people can't tell the difference if you do it in a blind tasting. 
believe it or not. But you have to do like for like. If you do a full body Cabernet, you must do a full body Merlot. Most people can't tell the difference, but wow. That's a no, so we got spice. Cedar spice. This is aged in French and American oak. We got cherry. We got plum. We got currant. And we keep coming back to spice. If I, if I inhale softly, we go more with allspice. Perfect. All right, now, two-step process on this haze. Step number one, I taste for acidity, how it flows across my palate. Step number two is what I taste to give you my overall impression. And then I tell you what I think about the wine, how I grade it. So step number one. I don't know if anyone ever pays attention to this. When I rinse, it's like my entire mouth. Okay? Make sure you do that. Because if you don't, you're missing out on all of the other intricate details and tastes and factors of the wine. Rinse the entire mouth. Acidity. Balance. Okay? Tannins. Balance. So we're going to go medium to or smooth to medium on the tannins finish it's more fruit finish than anything else than the complexities but you can still i can still taste the wine right now wow that's really nice okay now second taste let's rate it acidity again as i said nice balance Definitely tastes like a Cabernet. Okay. And I like that the Merlot comes in and bring, even though it's 95% Cabernet, that Merlot comes in and kind and, and, and of tames the acidity can come from Cabernet and makes it a little more fruitier. Okay. Just like levels it out. So that's pretty nice. A definitely probably a good food rind. And again, we talk about everyday drinking wines. We go to the store, pick a wine that says, this will be good. That's the purpose of these reviews. I'm going to go buy this wine and say, this will work with me. This will work with my guests. Okay? That's the purpose of this. So it has that factor. Mm. Easy drinking. Has a nice dryness. Nice fruit. With food, I think that the fruit would come through even more. But it's a nice, everyday, easy drinking wine. So, let's get to it. H3, 2019, Cabernet Sauvignon, Horsehaven Hills, Washington State. From Columbia Crest, a Wisconsin wine guy will give this thumbs up. Okay? There's some people don't like the harsh tannins that comes from Cabernet. That the narrow description says it dries out my mouth. There's some people don't like, you know, some Merlots that can be like overly fruity and somewhat sweet. This hits right in the mid range. Okay, so thumbs up for the H3 for Columbia Crest 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. There you have it. I'm gonna pour myself some more of this. I'm going to hopefully try this with some foods that have more wines. Try this with some food so I can say to you how it paired with food. But I will say this to you. As always, as I do, as you should do, don't pay attention to what the ratings say. Purchase the wine and let your palate be the guide. And I'll see you next time. Ciao!